I choose you, Mr. Me Seeks. Come on out. <laughs> Mr. Me Seeks, look at me. so immature. I have no idea what that skit was all about. Hello visuals, welcome back to Pokemon Thursday and uh, today is uh, we're taking a different change of pace, uh, doing that YouTube thing, putting somebody else's name in the title, gone for that clickbaity, gone for that YouTube beef, well not really. Yes, it's a video which, uh, it's it's a different way. Usually my Pokemon videos are just completely dumb. It's just for fun. It's because I love Pokemon. I want to talk about Pokemon. But um, there's some stuff which has been really kind of like meh lately involving Velisify, one of my favourite Poketubers and one of my favourite YouTubers of all time. And um, he's been getting quite a lot of shit. Basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point out the stuff which I think Velisify does really, really well. There's a couple of points that I think he doesn't do too well. Not that he needs critiquing from this fat... 25 year old making videos in his mom's bedroom because it's just more of a, a reason why I can see people get at him But I definitely don't think he deserves the, the crap and the stick and the, the, the hate that he gets so uh Yeah, I've come to this point Talk about other youtubers and shit I've Got my big boy pants on Yes, and if you do end up somewhere in the future watching this Velocify, just know I'm a huge fan. I fucking love you. I'm going to try and defend you here. Uh, again, not that you need defending because you're your own dude. Uh, you know what, what you, you get yourself into when you make videos and stuff. You know how to formulate your own arguments and stuff like that. But it's just, there's a few frustrating things that uh, I want to address. So visuals, it's got all the points there, but in fact, it's, it's uh, yeah, should we do, like I said, the, the, the bad points are quite minor. It's just the things that I've noticed throughout his videos. Um, and I love his videos, it's fucking fantastic. Um, right, now let's, let's talk about why I love this fight and why I think he should get less stick. Ultimately, it's it's quite clear and quite brutal and smacks you right in the face. The guy's a huge Pokemon fan. Everything he does, uh, his video-wise at least, I don't know him personally, uh, everything he does video-wise at least, is just out of sheer passion and love for Pokemon. He fucking adores Pokemon. That is quite clear to see. He, uh, he's invested so much of his time and his effort learning and become a a master of Pokemon, if you will, a Pokemon, a genuine Pokemon master who knows so much. He loves the franchise so much. When he sees it gets attacked, he feels like he has to defend it. And I can only uh, co moderate him. Is that the right word? I can only uh, appraise him, uh, applaud him uh, for doing that. I think that's absolutely beautiful. It's another reason why his videos are so captivating because every time he's speaking about Pokemon, you can hear and feel real passion from him. Knowledgeable to hell. The amount of times I've gone to Velisify, just a few little minor helps, guides, uh, setting up a Pokemon for competitive play, walkthroughs, uh, tutorials, stuff like that. The, the guy's got so much Pokemon knowledge and he just wants to share it with his videos for other Pokemon fans to come and listen and learn. And again, that's another thing I can only help but applaud. Oh, I've said it, uh, just literally just saying, it's the, the passion. I've, I've put exclamation marks behind it on my notes. Because it's passion. How can you really, really hate somebody uh, that's so passionate about Pokemon, if you're also a Pokemon fan, just have a have a debate, have a discussion, don't just sit and hate them. Truth and honesty, one of the, the main gripes that, that really annoys me uh, is the fact that he gets so much hate for wanting Pokemon to be honest and truthful. Like he goes on about the people that hack Pokemon, the people that cheat, the people that go to worlds and stuff and cheat. And I don't understand, I mean maybe I'm missing someone here because I'm a big old idiot. But how the hell, if somebody's trying to uh, defend the honour of Pokemon, what it should be, say that, listen, if you want to play Pokemon, just play it open and honestly. How can you hate that? You should be like, every time you play somebody, you want it to be open, fair, uh, on an even battlefield, unless it's a zombie apocalypse and the rules go out the window, do whatever you can. But you want to play against somebody that's that's uh, not cheating and hacked and stuff, and especially if it does happen, and it's just you and, and somebody online, whatever. But like a, a competitive tournament, like Worlds and stuff, <laughs> How the, can you expect somebody who's so in love with Pokemon to be like, oh, he cheated, oh, well, I'll let that side. No, he loves Pokemon. He wants the honor and integrity of Pokemon to still be alive. So I really don't know how you can help that. He just wants Pokemon to be honest and truthful. And not so much Pokemon, but the, the Pokemon players. I, I can't argue with that. It's like if my... I, I'm a Newcastle fan. I always go back to Newcastle, whatever reason. Huge Newcastle fan. Uh, if I was up against 
your Newcastle up against whoever they are. I want both sides to be on an even playing field. I don't want the, the other team to be full of like steroids and stuff and thingy. No, I want it to be even on both sides to make it more fun and enjoyable and more, more uh, enjoyable to watch. Ultimately, he just wants the best out of the Pokemon franchise and stuff. He just wants everybody to enjoy it, for everybody to enjoy it equally. Yeah, new fans, old fans, uh, fans that are coming back to it. Um, he just wants everybody to enjoy Pokemon. He wants Pokemon to um, be the best it can be. You can tell I'm really, really good at making like these big old speechy debate things. Like I said, it's a weird vibe to take my Pokemon Thursday videos because I just want to be silly and dumb. It's just been weighing on my mind a little bit so I'm, I'm thinking but here's here's the bad points which kind of get to me a little bit right it's the way the, the things that I, I think go against him is the way he goes about other people right the, this whole controversy is really really mainly start because of Pokemon let's go people say he's too optimistic about it he's too I'm, I'm optimistic as fuck about it. I can't wait for Pokemon let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee I think the games are going to be sick. I think they're going to be amazing. But the second that you disagree with um, with him about them, they say, now nah, they look shit. I don't like this. He calls you not a fan. He says, you, you know, the way he talks to pe like about people makes you sound like you or feel dumb and stuff, which I think is really, really wrong. Listen, I love Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. I think they're going to be amazing. If you hate it, that's absolutely fine. You should just let them hate it. You can't expect everybody to love every aspect of a franchise that you love. Uh, they've probably got valid reasons why they think it's going to be crap and stuff. Just let them not like it. You can't say, ha, ah, you're not a fan because you don't like this new game. No, um, I'm, a, again, Newcastle fan. Uh, I absolutely adore Newcastle, but there's certain players that bring in, I think, are absolutely shit. Doesn't mean I hate the team. Uh, it's the exact like, same thing as this. Uh, Pokemon is a whole franchise. Pokemon as a team, there's gonna have aspects. I love Pokemon, but I just don't like that bit. But I don't like that bit, but I love that bit. Let people hate the bits that they wanna hate. If they wanna hate, let's go. Just let them hate it and don't let them now don't talk to them like they're idiots and they're stupid and that they're not really Pokemon fans because only them inside can decide and say whether they are true Pokemon fans. Kind of gets to me a little bit like that because, like I said, I, I don't really like black and white. I mean, I play them, they're all right, um, but they're not my favourite games. Does that mean I'm not a real Pokemon fan? I think I'm still a huge Pokemon fan just because I don't like one instalment. Uh, the Hoenn games, um, they, they kind of get... Amoga, Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are great. Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald and stuff are great. They're just... They're not up there for me. Um, but I'm still a Pokemon fan, so <laughs> if people don't want to like installments, that's fine, just let them not like installments. It's their mind, they can make up their own minds. The way he just basically just calls other people stupid and more. Sometimes I think they can, uh, he's, he's justified every now and then, but sometimes just to go, ha, I know you're straight up a moron, and he does that little voice he puts on. Um, hey, look at me, and it's like, nah, come on, man. You're trying to speak to people on, a, on the same level and try and have a, have a discussion and stuff and a debate about it. Don't try and make the other person look stupid and shit like that. That's it, that's literally all the Amani gripes I have. Just just be a little bit more um, open-minded and look from the other person's point of view as to why they might like it. And don't be so harsh and blunt to people. It's Pokemon. If, we, if, if the world's getting to us arguing about Pokemon, then I ain't got a fucking clue. Yeah, disagree. Go for it. But if somebody comes to me, my favourite Pokemon is Pidgeotto, or Pidgeotto's shit. I'm not going to sit and argue with them like, alright, no worries. So yeah, it's kind of like a, uh, I love, like I said, this is not a, a diss or anything like that on Melissify. It's just been really annoying is how people keep attacking him because he's optimistic about Let's Go games and stuff like that and how he uh, wants Pokemon to be open, true and honest. So uh, yeah, let us know what you think about it in all of the comments below and uh, <laughs> look at me, like I said at the start, using other people's names for views. I, it's just something being being part of the Pokemon community on YouTube, not one of the, the content makers, but as one of the fans. It's just my, chucking my two cents in the hat. Feel free to chuck the hate this way if you think everything I've said and I shouldn't be defending them. That's completely fine. Again, I ain't gonna argue with anybody, mate. I'm too happy in life. Ah, visuals though. Yeah, let us know what you think of Alyssa in the comments below and let's just talk about it. I'm not gonna argue over a magic car. But yes, visuals! Ah. Next week we're gonna get back to our normal ways. I'm not gonna be fucking <laughs> type shit. At the end of the day, Pokemon's a game to be enjoyed and to be having fun with. That's all I wanna do. So visuals, I've had my, don't get us wrong, I've had my little ranty bits about Pokemon Go and stuff because there's so much Pokemon Go. Maybe I should do a video on why Pokemon Go annoys me so much, but it doesn't annoy me to the point where I'm like, oh god, man. That's right, it doesn't annoy me to the point where I try and do a horrible American accent. Thank you for watching this story at Pokemon Thursday. Let us know anything you want in the comments below. You guys, uh, don't know what I hit there. I chucked my sword onto a mattress. There's nothing else there. That was weird. Visuals, thank you so much for watching. Kitman, yo, and K-Pole.
Keep it on. Yesterday I nearly said, uh, keep being you and keep on web singing on. I don't know if I need to change the ending now. Fuck. Oh, that's right. If you're a new fan, you're like, oh my God, I swore in a Pokemon video. Yes, I did, because I'm a big boy with my big boy pants. I can do what I want. Thank you for watching visuals, keep being you and keep on keeping on. Oh, I'm still here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video of visuals, and if you do want some more visual guide cracks and randomness, see what we're up to, definitely go check out our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitters. Apart from that, 